details, Way 31 is working to learn more about the absence notations rules from the Alabama State Department of Education. And this comes after the former Hazel Greens principal, Daryl Long, resigned. His attorney said he was accused of removing certain absence notations from school records for students who already dropped out. Long and his attorney claim that every high school in the state already does this. Way 31's Brendan Collins made some phone calls to find out if this is true. I reached out to the State Department of Education to learn if principals are allowed to remove absences for certain students who already dropped out. They told me they're not aware of this being a law, nor are they aware of any high schools in the state doing this. I don't understand why the absences would matter if you're quitting, you know, if you're, if you're dropping out of high school, and it shouldn't affect the principal on that part. Many people in Hazel Green are wanting to learn more about the removal of absent notations, and they're confused as to why former principal Daryl Long would be accused of doing this. I think that's kind of odd. Um, just switching anything permanent record is very, um, you know, weird and kind of sketchy. <laughs> According to Long's attorney Eric Artrip, Long was told by the school system that he only had 24 hours to resign or face possible termination and criminal charges. Now Long wants to repeal his resignation, but the Board of Education moved forward with hiring a new principal, Dr. Quinn Heaton. But um, it's kind of odd to just make everything finalized and then say, okay, let's try again. <laughs> let's start over. Former Hazel Green High School students spoke highly of Long, but they also know the current principal, Dr. Quinn Heaton, because he used to be the assistant principal at Meridianville Middle School. He's really cool. He seems to really um, connect with the students, so I think he'll do really good. He was a pretty good guy, you know. He he, he was fair, you know, about being a principal. You know, he he wasn't too harsh on the kids. So. I just spoke with attorney Eric Archer. Within the hour, he explained to me that it wasn't fair for Daryl Long to make a critical decision with only 24 hours. They'll decide what to do after the Madison County School District responds to their letter. Right now, reporting in Madison County, Brittany Collins, Way 31 News.